In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the style and layout theme in Easy Mobile Site Generator. You can do it with just one click. Um, what I've done here, I've made a page that's got lots of information on. It's just one of my test pages. It's got a logo area up here with an image on. It's got uh, two headlines here. This is a block quote area. Um, some normal paragraph text. Um, I click the call button. Um, this is an opt-in form, this section here. Uh, this is a map direction section. And down here we've got a map. And then underneath here we've got the headings, sizes, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. And then finally we've got a menu down here um, with different colored icons and with arrows. And what I'm going to do first of all, you, you've just seen this particular style here, this theme. I'm going to show you what theme I'm using on this particular page. I'm going to change it and then show you those again. So at the moment I'm using the theme that's called Easy Theme Black on Grey. So let's change it to the next one in our list there, Blue on Blue. Just change that, click Update, and then we go down to our preview. And have a look and see what our page looks like now. Now we've got different colors and we even got a little drop shadow on our header here. Yeah, on our header sections. And we've got a different colored block coat with a little border around it. Now there's the same block coat with border again. And we kept the same color on the click to call. The opt in form uh, matches with the block coat up there. And so does the direction, so they all match the color schemes all the way through. Here's our heading areas here, again with a drop shadow on the H1. And here's our menu down here. You see the styles changed from the black that we had before. We now got a blue with a nice blue border around, got little white arrows on there. So the whole thing's changed. So let's go back and try something different. Let's pick a different theme. So instead of blue on blue, um, let's try brown on yellow. Click update. And then go and look at it in our browser. And you see we've now got a completely different look altogether. Just purely by clicking on the, the themes. But you notice everything matches. It all follows through, the colors follow through the whole theme. So you have 12 themes that are built into Easy Mobile Site Generator that all have their distinct colors. Uh, let's go and get just one, one more for you. And then I'll explain a, another couple of things for you. Um, let's try this green on green, just for yet yeah, another different color. You can just define your own color schemes, your own themes, by cloning the existing themes and changing the colors to be whatever you want it to be. So now we've got uh, green and green with a yellow block coat area in there. Um, there's our opt-in form, still again matching with the, the block coat area. There's our directions. If we put directions in, one, two, three, Park Avenue, Manhattan, you see that the directions themselves match the same uh, theme as well. So everything works in there. There's our headings. On this particular theme, there's no drop shadow being put on the, the, the headers. So that's uh, a little bit different there. So you can see it's very, very simple to change the colors very, very quickly. Um, so the other things you can do on the layouts, um, at the moment we've got the menu right down the very bottom there. I'm going to show you in what, just one second um, where that comes from. Um, we can have a different style of menu as well. But let's, first of all, let's go and make the menu come out at the top of the page instead of right at the very bottom. So I'll do a change from bottom to top and do update. If I go down to my preview now, we should find the menu is at the top of the page. Yeah, there it is. It's at the top of the page. Maybe we wanted to have some of the text um, inside bef before the menu. Then all I have to do, I've got a little uh, menu 
shortcut that I use that I put there. It's at the moment it's down below this section here. Easy mobile site generator has been designed to be exceptionally user friendly for even the most technically challenged. So let's just change from menu position top to menu position custom and do update. And we should now find that where that short code was, uh, it, it, above that text, so above just below that text, sorry technically challenged. We should find our menu starts at that point now. Uh, so we come down and there we go, most technically challenged and our menu starts just below that point now. So we can place the menu anywhere we want on the page, above or below text, right at the top, right at the bottom, whatever. Maybe we want a different style, maybe we want it right at the very top but instead of having um, this sort of menu up and down. Maybe we just wanted all these little icons um, like you see on, a, on an iPhone, on the, the front of the iPhone. Let's go back and change that. Let's change just to the top so we can see it very quickly. And I'll change that from vertical to icon and press update. And we go down to our menu, sorry, our preview again. And now instead of a vertical menu with uh, that we had, we've now got it all with little icons. So you can see it's very, very simple, very easy to do. Um, let's just change, leave it with the icons like that. Um, maybe let's change the colours of the icons. Um, we could go and do that, but we're going to go to the other pages, so let's go to current site and oh, I'm not using the, that site at the moment, let me go to the correct site for that. I want to go to test. Uh, test is my current site, so I want to use site pages for that. And if, for example, I wanted the products one to have a different coloured icon, or to have a, a custom icon even, then all I do is come here, I've got that uh, icon at the moment. Let's say I want that to be an orange icon. I just do update. Let's just go back to our main site page, this one here, and go to the preview of that. And we should find that the product icon is now an orange icon. And sure enough, there it is. So you can see it's very, very simple for you to change the colours. The, these icons, you can put your own custom icons in. They don't even have to be icon shaped like this. You can use pictures as icons if you want to. Or you can download any icon that you want from anywhere on the internet. and uh, and use it. You just fill it in in one little box. So that's it. Very simple, very easy to use, very flexible. You can make it look however you want it to look very quickly just by clicking a few buttons.